What's up, y'all? It's the Clips. And check out our interview right here on JennyBoomBoomTV.com. You already know. Yeah. All right, and we're backstage here at Spring Jam 2K10. And, of course, we got DJ Killer Touch here. Yeah. What up, what up, what up? And he's a D-Block's DJ, in the case only, you don't know. The only D-Block DJ. Don't get it fucked up. A lot of your other niggas think y'all D-Block, but there's only one. Really? Uh, do you have, like, some beef in the streets or something? Yeah, beef, I'm just saying, like, you know, you know, Twitter. People talk on Twitter a little reckless. So I got I to gotta clear, I gotta clear the, you know, clear the air, you know? Well, I got to be on Twitter more because there's a lot of Twitter beefs going on. I need to be a part of this. Yeah, people try to say that my Locks mixtape wasn't the official Locks mixtape when there's only one Locks DJ. So how am I, you know what I'm saying? I've been I've been a locks DJ for over ten years, so don't get it fucked up. So okay, now you've also been doing on top of that though, um, your own projects. Last I heard, you had Mashonda sign to you. Is that still happening or is that not happening? No, no, no. I, I don't really. I was she was never signing me. I was just helping her out. I was just I was just doing her some favors, helping her, you know, do a, you know, helping her get back on her feet. You know what I'm saying? But I, she was never signed to me. So, um, so what's going to be happening with her? I think we need to move because there's a disturbance in the arena, probably a fight. Um, I know Pistol Pete's in there, so it could have something to do with that. <laughs> um, so we're going to move over to the side. So, um, so what's going to happen with Mashonda then in her in her career? Honestly, I haven't spoken to Mashonda in months, so I really don't even know. To tell you the truth, yeah. But you've been putting out music, so who are you working with now for artists? You know, you know, I still work with Josh Exantis. We got a new record coming out for Mother's Day called Mommy, I Love You. And we got a record with Ghostface about to come out in like in about two weeks. I got my own album coming out. In case you didn't know, I got like a DJ album coming out. I got a record out right now with uh, with Bully, Tone Trump, Jamie Drastic, I'll Be Back. Then I got a, my next record's with Jada Kiss. It's going to be real big. I got a record with Mano. I got a couple big records coming out. You know what I'm saying? So what's the record with Jada Kiss? Well, I, I can't talk about that. Yeah, I hate that. I mean, I mean, when it's done, you'll be the first to know. You'll be the first to know. I'll get it in my email, I hope. Yes, I'll bring it to you personally, me and Jada. How about that? Okay, we'll, and, and, we'll come to the station and deliver it personally. And what about the Josh Exantis album? What's happening with that? That's going to come out this year, too. But we, we got a real big record called Mommy, I Love You from Mother's Day. We got we got 1-800-Flowers back in us. We're going to be on Hallmark cards. It's, it's a real big record to his mom. After that, we're going to do the album. It's called Can I Live. It's on EMI. Real big, real big. All right, well, thank you, Killer Touch. It's nice talking to you. Anything for you, Jenny. Anything for Jenny Boom Boom. And he's so talented, and I know you're about to get on stage in just a few minutes with Jada Kiss. Yeah, yeah we're going to fuck that stage up. That's why we do D Block Jada Kiss mixtape in stores May 1st, the Champions Hit Part 3, Green Lane, and DJ Drama. Locks album coming real soon, too. Yeah, hey, real quick before I let you go, I, I've always wondered this because I know you've been DJing for D Block for so many years, but how do you know what y'all are going to do when you get up on stage? Like, do you guys talk ahead of time or what? I haven't spoken to Kiss all day. I don't even know where he's at. I don't know if Styles is coming. I don't know if Sheik's coming. But we do this every day for 10 years. You don't got to talk. We, we do this. We do this. So you you do you dictate what songs go on? and if then you watch the show, you'll see him turn around every couple of seconds and ask me, like, what's next? You know what I'm saying? So So you pretty much have their whole career in your hands when they're on stage. Yeah, if I fuck up, you know, I, I, could, I could fuck the whole shit up if I wanted to. <laughs> don't piss me off, Jada. I'll piss her. <laughs> you put on some Barry White all of a sudden or something. Yeah, it's all on me. I do the whole shit. No, Jadakus is funny. He'd probably just sing to it. <laughs> nah, Jadakus, he, you fuck up on Jadakus, he gonna, he gonna scream on you in the middle of the whole fucking stage. He fired his last DJ on Madison Square Garden on the stage. Like, he, he'll flip. See, Styles and Sheik, they're a little better. They don't really care. You fuck up on Kiss, you gonna hear it. He don't give a fuck where he's at, who's there. He's screaming on you. So I don't fuck up. Wow, I, I guess not. Okay. <laughs>